Hello, welcome to a Byte Any tutorial on how to install a 7 Days of Die server. This will be a straightforward tutorial on how to install Steam CMD and 7 Days of Die server. So we're going to go and head to this website in the description, Steam CMD. You're going to go down and you can see Windows. We're going to be using a Windows 2019, but this will also work on Windows 22. So you're going to see Windows and you're going to see the little one highlighted blue, what's a hyperlink. You're just going to press that one. You're going to see the file downloads, you're going to open a file location and you want to drag that to your documents. Once it's in your documents, all you're going to do is create a folder, call it whatever you want, I'm going to call it Steam ZMD. In the folder, all you're going to do is drag the zip file in there and you want to extract that zip file. We'll go back and just extract here because it's easier. After that, you're going to see your EXE. All you want to do is right click and run with Administrator. This will then download Steam CMD. This should only take a few seconds. There we go. Steam CMD is now installed. So, the first thing you want to do is type in Login Anonymous. And you want to hit enter and it was a connection anonymously to steam public okay so once we're here we are good it should say okay and you should be able to type again all you want to do now is type the following command app underscore update space and these numbers so app underscore update space two nine four four two zero and you want to type in validate on the end all you want to do is hit enter. This will now download the 7 days to die server and I will be back once it has downloaded. So you might get this error like me. All you want to do is run the command we run before again. So that will be app underscore update and the number. Uh, we'll continue the download where it left off. So now, as you can see on my screen, that it says 2944Z20 is fully installed. All you want to do is close out Steam CMD. That's just going to take a second, and that is closed. So now you want to go back to the Steam CMD folder we created, and you want to press Steam Apps, Common, 7 Days to Die, Dedicated Server. So to start the vanilla server, it really is as simple as loading this bat file. We're going to load there, and now our server is up, and you should be able to join via our IP. It may download some stuff, as this is the first time it has loaded. So it's going to load, and the server should be up now. So you should be able to join via the port and IP. Thank you for watching this tutorial, and I hope it has helped you.